Hello, well, it's a lovely sunny day and I'm in this lovely field of Maris Widgeon wheat watching this old reaper binder at work. And it's quite a sight, being pulled by a lovely tractor. And what the reaper binder does, it basically cuts the wheat and sort of bundles them up. So it does the two operations, you see it there sucking it in, up a conveyor belt, and then they ingeniously binds it all together. If you take a look at one of the heads, you can see once it's fresh, and I've popped the film up on the old threshing machine they used on this. See if I just rub it in my hands and blow, there's the corn. So it's a nice crop. It's lovely and dry at the moment. It's quite a large field. The problem with this, because it's long, it actually gets blown over and the rain, the heavy rain, beats it down and then it makes it very difficult for the machine to pick it up. And I guess that's partly why nowadays a lot of it's grown a lot shorter, it's not needed for thatching and it's easier to harvest. It's really like old times here today because you've got these lovely old tractors and this lovely machinery and we've just had a Spitfire fly over as well. Shot over too fast to catch, unfortunately, I think. Yeah, as to whether it will come round or not, I don't know. So these paddle steamer bits are the sweeps, and their purpose is to drag the corn into the cutter. Is that right? Yep. Yep. And then it goes on to this conveyor belt here. And it's interesting because this side piece is very pointed and slanted. Is it all done to optimise funnelling in? Is that the idea of that? Yeah, they call it a mould board in this day and age. A mould board. All right. It's interesting. Because it's wheels. Yeah. <laughs> and then it goes on to this canvas bed, which is rotating, going, is it that way? That way, yes. Yep. And then up, and between, feeds... up between the two canvases. Gosh. And then... And that sort of semi-compresses it, presumably, going up between the canvases, yeah. is that the idea? Well, yes, it's just enough to take it up, the yes. pressure to take it up and over through the top. And then once it's here, it gets sort of... On the table, yeah. That's a table that gets compressed a bit. Well, the rest of the stuff coming up pushes it down. Oh, right, yep. And then you get the nice little sewing machine act. So this, it looks like, is that an arm there? That, yeah, sort of they, in a bit. they sort of go backwards and forwards as a packer. Oh right, yep. Yeah. And that's a packs it in. Yeah. And then the string goes round. Yeah. And uh, we've got this rather elaborate mechanism here. So is this all part of the nutting device? Yeah. Oh, so you can see it's the just, string. Yeah. Just inside there now. Okay. It takes it up and round. It. It's one of those things, you look at it. And yeah. in a way, its principles are fairly simple, but the engineering behind it yeah. is good, isn't it? We work that out. Yeah, some clever person. Yeah. yeah. And all of these these other levers here, they do various... It depends on the, the length of your straw. You can right. move these... Uh, pack, it's like a packer this way. It packs it. Oh, right, OK, yeah. If it's, so if it's shorter, you'd move it yeah. that way. You can you do longer. that with this rod that goes across there. Oh, right, yeah. Control it there. Yeah. It operates where the string ties. You can slide the that there. So you can make the string come up and down? Yeah, it, it depends on on the length of the straw that you're, the stuff that you're cutting and um, you can alter where it ties on the sheaf. Oh, right, yeah. Um, so you try and keep it central, if you uh, like, I guess. Yeah. Uh, well, or near the bottom. Well, slightly <laughs> towards the top. Oh, the, right. top, the top's heavy. Yes, so that draws it in at the and top. And when you pick it up, you want to try and keep a balance. Mm. And uh, you've got... Um, this one here, yeah, like that alters that, that alters the up and down of the sweeps, depending on how high or low you want to sweep. Oh, right. And this, yeah, is the height of the 
the cutting bar right. Right. On, down on the ground there on the bottom. Because there's quite a lot to keep sort of coordinated and working. You just got to keep trying to keep your eye out. Yeah, yeah. And could you actually, if you did one of the levers wrong, could you smash the mechanism or not? Or is it fairly robust? Oh, point of view? I don't think you'd actually smash the mechanism. No, it would jump and ride. Yeah. yeah. Wonderful old wooden rollers, aren't they, in here? Yes, yes. And the canvases, Ray's made new canvases oh, for yes. this year. So this yeah. is the battening and the copper we did. The, uh, Wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's quite a job. We've got quite a lot of ash crossbars, aren't there, on that? Yeah, quite a couple of that. Did you? Yeah. Yeah, nice. So we had a string blockage and now we'll just test it out. Popping some of the loose cut on there and see if it pushed it into or not. It's tied. Tied is it? I think so. Yeah. Just jammed. You see this, you see the knot on in there, look. I saw see a needle, the, oh yes. See where the string goes through right round there. Yeah, and there seemed to be at one point a huge needle appeared. And, that just yeah. That's a part of the Yeah. I know. It's wonderful, isn't it? Normally. Yeah, comes in hand, get it nicely loaded up. They're not too heavy to lift, but I imagine after you've done a few of these, you would know it. I've just lifted a, you know, a couple, but I'm sure on the end of a pitchfork, that's a lot heavier, and uh, by the time you've put 200 on there, you would know it. You know, in our day and age. So how many of these bundles, Graham, would form a stoop? Very just a few, is it just a fair eight? Yeah, and you're saying and they would be stood up to right. dry off. Yeah, so these are not very good um, bundles to, 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 <laughs> to uh, what is it? Cause <laughs> Never mind. They come out all. Yeah. You see the way it's laying. Yeah, um, and then you say that the old time saying would be you'd leave them standing for two two church, church bells, bells. i.e. two weeks, two yeah. Sundays. Yeah, to dry. To, to dry. Wow. But this is very dry. Yes, yeah, it does seem quite dry. And we're. Yeah, probably it can, doesn't have to stand. <laughs> no. It's quite interesting, the technicalities of getting the height. So what you're saying is you want to try, when you're cutting it, to cut it above the grass height. Yeah, well, so it's stubble pro probably in the old days they would cut it, get it as long as they could because they wanted the straw. Yeah, I suppose you don't want to waste it, do you, uh, as well? Uh, yeah, but we here we don't want to uh, get too much of the grass because we're trying to... Um, we're trying not to stoke it. Yes. This was the idea. The grass would die oh, in a right. fortnight. Yes. And the weed that was in the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. I was very grateful to be allowed to film this and um, hope you've enjoyed watching as well. Bye bye.